the bad thing is, the one bad thing about going on a residency overseas, especially I think to Europe, is you come back and your head is packed full. You're like, wow, I need to get this all out. Where am I going to need to do? But if that's the one bad thing about it, then that's actually fantastic. And I kind of collect my ideas from looking at the little things that people have done in the past to memorialize or commemorate life. Just the funniest little things like a clipping of hair. Like why? You know, just trying to remember someone. I love the, the way humans go about trying to leave their mark on the, on the earth, you know. The thing about Dresden is that they're trying to preserve something that a lot of places um, that had been bombed, I would think were beyond preserving, but yet they would build it new again. Just so, so you can reconstruct the church. You can even reconstruct the Ishtar Gate. That's really cool. Which they did in Berlin, because that's not where it's supposed to be. For me personally, it was interesting how, so I love that this was done, this rebuilding, because it was leveled, you know. It was, some areas were so leveled, and I just could relate to that with what happened on the coast. I mean, it was completely leveled. There would be steps. So why build the whole mansion again? I don't know. It's just kind of, it's something that we have to do. We, we don't like things to be lost forever. I know my work is good when I look at it and it hurts a little bit. I want to capture that little feeling that's inside where it's like, oh, it's just, that didn't feel quite right. Where you see a face, you see, you know, the portrait of someone, but then it's in the action of just being wiped away. And that moment where you're like, oh, that's sad that that, did I lose all that information? Is that, is it, can it come back? And so it's, my work is, is good when there's the loss, when loss is captured. And that's sometimes hard to do because you either have, uh, before or you have an after, you don't have the, the moment where something's lost. The work, when I make it, it's very, it happens quite instantaneous. You don't let it touch yourself. And the more juicy it gets, the more it will wipe the person away. Or it'll distort you know, whatever you have. Okay. So that's what it makes. And so you have the same image. I put it up on the wall. I start to gather the pieces that I feel work correctly. I know they work correctly when it just looks at you and it says, I'm done, you know? And sometimes Pieces will say, I'm done, and they're not good, and so those go away. <laughs> you don't show that stuff. I'm not a big verbal person, and I like to express myself in a very visual way. Um, my art, for me, the reason why I make art right now is it's not about pleasing other people. It's really, it's my time where I'm just meditating. I mean, I'm just thinking about life, and I'm meditating specifically like on the big picture. And I just think that it's um, so interesting to see how people try to connect to the past and recall it and reminisce.